first game of this next set. Nadia versus Bug Doctor. This will be a fun one. Pikachu and Mega Man. Look, Moosh. This is one of the most exciting matchups we've had all tournament. Let me be excited. Oh, nearly clips him with the F smash. Well, pretty dominant first stock coming from Nadia. Takes Bug Doctors with as little little hits as possible, and he just keeps going. Scubs, I will hold you to that. Also, Cole, you still owe me 20 bucks. From Edmonton. Mall. Well, Bug Doctor doing a little bit better on this next stock, but... Full stock behind. Catches an F smash, but... He's gonna need to pull something bigger. Good tech. <laughs> Punishes Skull Bash with an F Smash. No, you had to pay Mike back first. For bus tickets, I think. Okay, so the fair out of hit stun takes Nadia's first stock, but been a pretty dominant game for Nadia so far. Just tough for Mega Man to do anything about Pikachu's incredible advantage state. Oh, does clip him with the last hit of that fair. <laughs> Hits the thunder. Ooh, the Skull Bash! I don't think that last Skull Bash was on purpose, but the first one was really clever. And... Oh! Not quite! Another F-Smash to punish the Skull Bashes, but... Bug Doctor has a mountain to climb if he wants to win this game. Up air off the top, though, brings him close enough that I think that was a real kill. Particularly with full rage. Catches him jumping, but he's not dead yet. You know, I've seen a win from this position before, as precarious as it may be. Oh, only an up tilt off of the drag down. It's leaf shield. He's building up the damage. Bug Doctor can still win this. But one grab's got to do it. He just needs to not get hit. Yeah. Grab, up throw, and that's game one for Nadia.
So despite Bug Doctor's best efforts towards the end, he just isn't quite able to finish the job. However, we may see him keeping up that momentum into the next game. And it's his counter pick. So we're going to see these guys go to likely a different stage. Maybe the same. I could see him staying. But. Yeah. He does go to town instead. Already off to a much better start, with more percent on Nadia than he had put before he lost his first stock in the previous game. Shields the Thunder. Doesn't fall into the F Smash. But... Bug Doctor has a lead, but it's not a very stable one. And with that, nearly loses his stock super early to an F Smash, but even with those short sides on town, he manages to survive. Yeah. Knows that Nadia is likely to thunder, so he waits on that platform for just a moment. Nice job using the Crash Bomber to safely recover, but first stock does once again go to Nadia. In a much better position than losing first stock in the previous game, though. We'll see if Bug Doctor can make some changes. And there it is, even stocks, only 23% on Mega Man. Virtually an even game. Just a couple of hits, you can even this up in percent as well. Have fun, Scrum. I hope you enjoy the game. Probably about time that you finished Panzer and Kazooie. <laughs> Ooh, catches the jump with thunder there. But an up tilt out of nowhere. Dead even last stock on this second game of the set. Yeah, on stage, so the Thunder Spike does not kill him, despite the best guesses of this this green KO.
He nearly gets a Metal Blade combo of his own, but Mega Man manages to avoid that. <clears throat> so tough to punish anything Pikachu does on your shield when your out of shield options don't hit low. It does tech the stage. This is pretty tense. Hits the Metal Blade. Some more pellets. Racking up damage slowly. Oh, but just runs up and up smashes for yet another game. That is 2-0 for Nadia. Including nuts and bolts. You like racing games? On our Xbox 360, BZ and I, we had a uh, we had Banjo Kazooie, and we had the Banjo Tooie demo. And I'm pretty sure I have more hours in the Banjo Tooie demo than in Banjo Kazooie itself. <laughs> well, we're back on town for what may be Bug Doctor's last game of the circuit. Does he have what it takes to pull together a win here from the from the depths? Against Nadia, one of the fiercest players in Saskatchewan, who manages to avoid a double spike and an early death, but not without taking significant damage. Whiffs the thunder, but 119 on Mega Man to only 25 on Pikachu. This is reminiscent of our first game. That forward air will do it. Nadia with as dominant of first arc as he had in game one. This is gonna be quite the challenge for Mega Man to come back from. And with these loops, up to 56% without a hit. Nadia just taking his time. Full stock lead. Feeling healthy. Well... Bug Doctor finally manages to take a stock, but is it too late? If he can turn this stock around, that may be the momentum he needs in order to get a win. But reversing momentum against Pikachu is just so tough. And get the up air off the down throw, but manages to at least have good DI and avoid a thunder on Pikachu's. Knocks him off stage. Oh, and a missed tech. Nothing that you want to see for Mega Man right now if you're a Bug Doctor fan. And now with three and a half minutes left, Nadia is just gonna be taking his time, 
but not... Oh my goodness, the glancing blow on back air probably could have taken him even further. No punish on the re-grab, but does at least hit him with the leaf shield on his way up onto the ledge. A little bit early with his dash grab. Oh! Drops shield and the F smash takes it, so... Bug Doctor managing to take his stock without much extra damage on him, but is it too little too late? He's still at 60%. And off stage versus Pikachu is never where anyone wants to be. But he keeps on firing his lemons. Oh, Metal Blade into the dash attack. Clean little conversion there. Tries to read a roll. Another backer out of shield. You can't do anything unsafe on Pikachu's shield. Ooh, clips him with the weak dash attack. A strong one might have done it, but not with it staled. But a back air right up in the corner to win the set. 3-0, Nadia advances to loser's semis.